So transportation. It's what we do when we're going from one place to another. We move our butt around town. You know, the goal is to get to where we're going and see who we're going to see, uh, do what we're going to do. You know, the goal isn't exactly the journey, it's where we're getting to. But the journey is at least as important as where we're going, in a way. In this case, uh, the journey... You know, you don't really see it, but but the journey here that we're we're looking at with these cars driving by, it's not terribly obvious. The car companies have done a good job of hiding this fact, but each one of these cars is spewing poison into the atmosphere. Each one of these cars. Uh, the oil that's driving this car, 70% of that oil is coming from overseas. So that is money that is American money that is leaving this country because all these people are buying oil because their cars can only burn oil. The exhaust that you can't even see, but there is exhaust coming from each of these cars. The exhaust uh, has global warming, greenhouse gas implications. It has health effects, negative health effects. It's known that the particles that are emitted in the exhaust from these cars make it through the bloodstream into cells. It gets into the cells in the body, and they don't know what the effect of that is, but I can't imagine that it's good. So how many of these people who are driving, how many of them get anything about the, the effects of what they're doing? Are they only looking at, I want to get there and do whatever I'm doing? Or are they thinking while they're driving? Are they thinking about what the, what the effect is? What are they doing? Who are they harming? Are they harming themselves? Are they harming others? How many others are they harming? These vehicles look so benign in a way. There's no obvious effect other than a car driving down the road. It's, a, it's like a box and it's going down the road and there's no, you know, there's a tailpipe on each one of these cars. But in the past, the previous generations of cars, you can see the exhaust. Here, you can't see the exhaust. So, because you can't see the exhaust, you're disconnected from the effect of the cars. And then there's other effects, like the road surface is preventing water, whenever it rains, it's preventing water from getting into the, the ground soil, and it's harming the, the life force, or the, uh, the uh, it's harming the ground by cutting off water from getting into the ground. It's... Uh, um, the road surface itself is made of uh, petroleum-based stuff. Um, the fact that there's a road that is land surface that uh, a city cannot tax. So it erodes, the more ro road surface that is in a city, the more the, uh, the tax base of that city is eroded and the uh, financial status of the city is lessened by the amount of road surface it has. There's a lot of non-obvious effects from this simple act of driving. 
what about the compatibility between these cars and the other vehicles or pedestrians, other vehicles being uh, the big trucks on the one hand or the bicyclists or the motorcyclists on the other hand. The road is a common space that we all must share, but it seems that the policies have been favoring the car over bicyclists. And the bicyclists are relegated in some places. They don't even have a bicycle lane. Here there is a bicycle lane, but in many places there isn't one. And the roads, this road goes between two neighborhoods full of people. What if there's a friendship that is between people who are on opposite sides of this road? The, to walk between the, the two houses means crossing this road. A road like this erodes the walkability of a neighborhood. Roads like this carry with it, due to the nature of the cars and the motorcycles that are on this road, it carries with it noise pollution. It's a blight, it's ugly. How obvious are all these things?